My name is John Stevens, and I'm a retired justice of the United States Supreme Court. Well, it, it had a significant impact on, uh, on my thinking on a number of different issues. Uh, f for one thing, uh, in statutory construction cases, which are an important part of uh, a judge's work, I learned that you don't always just look at what the statute says because there's an, always a certain amount of history that goes into the uh, completion of a legislative uh, uh, project. And most of the work of the Judiciary Committee at the time was on a nonpartisan basis. The, the uh, congressmen worked together uh, w without regard to a party affiliation on most of their work. There were some high visibility issues on which they took extreme positions and debated back and forth. But on the routine work of, of most of what went on in the, in the committee, uh, there was uh, cooperation um, uh, uh, among the judges or the uh, uh, congressmen. And, I've, and when I was thinking about that case, the fact they made it painless seemed to me to be removing the real justification for the popular support for the death penalty was you got to get even with this miserable person and he should suffer pain. Well, if you take away from the pain from the execution, uh, why do you bother? Why is it necessary to execute him instead of just imprisoning for the rest of his life without possibility of parole? So the basic rationale for the death penalty seemed to have been taken away from it. And all these number of things I've thought about over the years, I did conclude that that it's an extremely unwise, and of course the expense in, in the administering the death, the, the expense of a capital case far exceeds the cost of imprisonment. And there are other factors. I can't recall everything just from the top of my head this way, but, but the more I've thought about it, the more I've, I've become persuaded that it's an unwise use of public resources and really the possibility of, of executing an, an innocent person is real. It's not just possible. There are a good many people on death row have been found to be innocent by DNA testing and, and otherwise. And incidentally, that is why Michigan d d repealed its first death penalty statute back in the 19th century somewhere because they actually had become aware of two innocent people having been executed and that they thought that risk was not worth taking. And I really don't think it is worth taking. It's, it's an awfully high price to, to pay for, for, for that particular. Well, of course, you always have to figure out where you're trying to get and why you're trying to do it and all. And I thought always in, in affirmative action situations, uh, there's a vast difference between trying to do something to make up for past harms, that, that you're trying to treat people as though they had not been mistreated over the years. And I was that that was not the, the real rationale that should should guide us in affirmative action program, but rather what good can society as a whole get out of a program? And for example, in educational programs, one of the first cases that was important to me was a case that grew out of Jackson, Michigan, where they had only one uh, African-American teacher on the faculty and under a, a layoff plan, she was gonna get fired. And I thought that the school was eminently well justified in keeping her on the faculty so the students would have the opportunity to learn from a, 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 a gifted African American. And in, in the classroom, there are benefits to be obtained from associating with people who have different backgrounds from yours. So there's a, a future benefit from it, which is much stronger, it seems to me, than the question whether you should have uh, equal opportunity in bidding for government contracts. People who have enough money to bid for a government contract may not need all that help in terms of affirmative action. And so affirmative action in the public contracting sphere presented many different issues from affirmative action, for example, in the employment context or the educational context or, 
or, or other contexts where you can see the benefits of, 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 of diversity.